Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 10 of the service portal trading. Today's class we will talk about the type ad search. Uh, what is the type ad search and how we can use the type ad search. In introduction class we talk about that what is the type ad search and where it is already there. If you don't know, I'll just tell you the same thing. So type ad search is nothing but um, if you see here, this is the home page or out of box uh, widget which is that um, home search. If you control and right click home search. And this page is out of box page. Here we do have the type ad search. So service now out of box widget provide us the type ad search where you can be able to configure and search any catalog item, incident, uh, task, or any any details actually from the back end table. So let's say that if I want to um, uh, search any catalog item called report and issue, something like that, report and incident. It will be able to search that particular um, record from the catalog item um, and then I will be able to um, you know create I mean I will be able to take the action so basically type ad search help us to search that um, and based on our uh, typing and it can give us uh, it can return some result and based on that we can take the actions so today first we'll talk about that how we can or how, what are the steps we needed for the type ad search uh, so let's see one by one so if I go back here, um, this is our home page. What way first thing we have to do? We have to go back to the page designer mode. Under the page designer, we have to um, drag that home search widgets for the type of search. So I will uh, search that home, um, you know, um, home search. I need to drag that uh, here. And then I will remove that um, here, this page. So now you can see our type head search is dragged right now. And then if you click edit option, there are a couple of um, uh, options that you can provide that. So let's say that you can um, provide that title. So um, so the way it is present to that um, out of box page, you can see here. If you go back here, you have a one. Uh, text here and here you have a uh, one text here how can we help you so these two uh, text are different we can add this uh, two text so here you can put the title and here it is your short description so we uh, say that what is your issue and also you can pass that uh, some of the parameter like that how length it will be like size will be large medium you can define that so I'm not putting that one. You can put the placeholder in the placeholder. You can put that some uh, place. So once we save that, so this um, these widgets are dragged and right now uh, saved. If we uh, uh, refresh that, you will be able to see that uh, that widgets is available right now. But in this widget doesn't have any background, so we can probably add the background later. But right now we don't have any background in this page. Um, so um, um, as it is doesn't have any background you can see this text is not showing uh, so we can um, add background if we want so uh, what we can do we can just go to this row and then if you click you can click the edit and uh, I mean you can go to the container and you can click the edit and here you can upload any uh, background color or you can select any background images so I'll select some background images here we can select some more this color little and once we save that the whole container background color will be this one so this is the our container and this container uh, background color will be this one we'll just refresh that so our container color changes here this is our text uh, title and this is our um, you know uh, type at text now what will be happen once we uh, start searching let's say that report and issue so if we search that um you can see um it is start searching that a particular uh you know uh, content but we can restrict that let's say that you don't need all these stuffs you can restrict that so what do you have to do if you type the service portal under this service portal you have a portals you need to open the portal that we have created called portal training 
and here if you see if you notice that once we search something called um, you know uh, portal or something some whatever we are searching we are seeing the knowledge base and catalog nothing else so if we want to show the incident if we want to show the change how can we show that for that what you have to do if you scroll down the portal you have a search sources here you need to uh, map your search sources so if you click the edit there are a couple of um, predefined search sources available you can select any of these search sources if you want or else you can create your own search sources let's say in our case we are not able to find any incident related search sources for that what we have to do we can uh, you know uh, select our own search sources called incident search sources that we can um, you know uh, uh, create that for that what I'll do I'll click new button here once you click the new button you will be able to see the search sources uh, name so I'll say the incident um, um, details um, these things I'll copy and paste here same thing and here here if you want to put some script here you can put that or uh, otherwise for that um, you know for uh, general cases you don't need them and then you can just put that condition here by the conditional builder so I'll say that incident and um, we can put the condition let's say that close incident I don't want to show only active incident I want to show so I will select that active true and here primary fields so I'll select that um, short description and um, display field will select the number we'll select short description, we select color, we select priority state. So these are the fields we'll select that. So this is our data source, means that whenever we'll start typing, it will be searched from the incident table, and then these are the fields will be visible. Now in the code, you don't need to make any changes here. Uh, the code needs to be changes if you select the each scripted source. So we'll talk that later in our later video. Now you go to the type ahead. Here we need to select that um, um, if you select the advanced um, typhoid code, so you need to be type and um, input that. Otherwise, here you need to put the images. So let's say I'll select that on this one, and here we need to uh, select the page. So I'll select the search page here. So that's it. Our search sources is created, and that search sources is mapped to our portal. So you can see this is the incident. Now, if we refresh here in this page. You can see the search sources is right now started searching on the incident table. I mean, not for all the table. So using that, you will be only now if you search with that in this page, here home page. Previously, there was no search sources. Now, if you search that report and incident, it will not search for um, catalog item. It will only search for incident a table. If there is no incident on this similar description, it will give you the wrong result. Now, if you want to map more search sources in your portal, for your portal, you can uh, add that search sources uh, portal. But right now, it have a capability to search on the incident table. So let's say I'll search that INC001, um, or maybe I'll say that uh, not working, something like that. So all the incident which have that not working will show that, and then you can see um, that primary field we have selected short description which is visible here this is the secondary fields like number call or priority state all are showing here so this way you can configure your search sources these search sources help you to you know um, uh, you know get get uh, get uh, help you to get query and get the search but make sure that before you uh, do or enable the search sources that table has to be indexed then only you will be able to um, enable the typhoid search also that um, what help what else you have that if you type that um, you know uh, laptop something like that the previous search that you have done the recent search also show here so this all benefit we have in the typhoid search uh, so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day